Hi, my name is Tara Jarrett. I'm an outdoor park educator on Oregon's nature education team and welcome to my crib. Just kidding, we're here at Blue Lake Regional Park today. Let's take a look around. Everyone here is ramping up for spring, from the plants to the animals to the insects. And with Blue Lake being just a hop and a skip from the Columbia River, the park provides habitat for native wildlife, including beavers, songbirds, amphibians, and of course, a variety of trees and plants. In celebration of Mother's Day this month, let's take a walk to the wetlands and see what new life is popping up in the park, and maybe meet their moms. Oh look, some goslings! Canada geese are a common sight at many parks, but that doesn't make them any less cute. And talk about that protective parenting. Best to enjoy these little ones from a distance, as geese parents can be very protective of their broods. Mom will keep a watchful eye and teach these little fluffs how to forage for the plants and insects that compose the bulk of their diet. But no bread, please. Let's keep walking and see what else is in the park today. Welcome to the wetlands. This wetland provides a great habitat for amphibians. The native red-legged frog relies on the shallow water and vegetation to lay her egg masses. And after mom lays her two to 5,000 eggs, she bounces, literally. Those eggs are left to develop into tadpoles. And as they grow, the lily pads will provide shade, help keep the water cool, and protect both tadpoles and frogs from potential predators. These wetlands serve as a nursery for more than just tadpoles. Waterfowl, insects, and other amphibians all rely on these shallow waters to sustain their next generations. Pretty cool. Let's keep walking. Wait, wait, wait. Was that snow in May? Just kidding. It's cotton from a cottonwood tree. A single cottonwood tree can produce up to 25 million teeny tiny seeds, all hidden in these cottony soft coatings. The soft fibers easily catch the breeze and help the little seeds travel really far from their parent trees. And if you look super closely, you might even be able to find one of the tiny seeds. Cottonwood trees are native to the region and in the poplar family. Strong and resilient, they remain very popular in medicines, food, building, and art. Let's see what else is growing on in the park. Do you see the babies right behind me? Look a little closer. Protected in this white foam are spittlebug nymphs. Thanks to mom, who makes sure to lay her eggs on something tasty for these babies to eat as they grow, these little nymphs are able to stay hidden, insulated, and moist in a concoction of their own excrement. It may seem like spit, hence their name, but that foam is actually secreted from their anus as they munch away. Whatever gets the job done, right? Let's leave these little ones be and see who else is around the park today. Blue Lake is home to many species of birds, including owls, hawks, jays. These, though, are barn swallows. Barn swallows are just one of six species of swallows native to this area, and they're migratory birds. So here in Portland, barn swallows are often a welcome spring sign that the warmer weather is here to stay. These acrobatic flyers and voracious insectivores are excellent at catching insects mid-air and can often be seen swooping low over large fields or bodies of water and making impressive mid-flight turns. If you find a nest and you stay still and quiet long enough, you may even witness feeding time as parents or older siblings return these foraged insects to babies living in the small mud cup nests or bird boxes like these ones. I could watch those swallows all day, but let's take a peek at the garden. Wow, there is so much buzzing on in this garden. Let's slow down and see who's here. Thanks for joining me today at Blue Lake Regional Park. Spring has definitely blossomed here, and I hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds of the season. Make sure to tune in next Wednesday for another Nature Ed video. Thanks, see you then. Mm -hmm.